Mm. The Ricochet page editor will allow you to easily build website pages right within the Ricochet platform. The page editor is great for those who've never built a website, for those experienced with services like Squarespace or WordPress, or if you're looking to code your site yourself. The page section will show all templated and created pages in the left-hand column. Above the page editor is the page description that gives a quick description of the templated pages. There will also be links to help articles to learn more about page building. Next is the page builder section to build out your site pages, and below that is page settings. The page settings is where you can give your page a title, change the handle, or what comes after the .com slash in your URL. And the handle also can be where you can attach external links, like a link to a blog or to another website. Just add the full URL, including the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash to attach the link. Many stores who have previously created websites may just use the Ricochet web store for the e-commerce features. So they will create an external page link and title it main site to bring them back to their main websites. If you have a large amount of pages, you can add the page under a parent page, similar to the category layout. Here, you can choose the parent page you would like to add your page under. Next is the meta description field, which is the preview text you'll see when searching on Google or when sharing your site online. Best practice for this is to keep it simple and precise. Next are two toggle buttons. Show in nav will allow you to keep the page live, but hidden from the navigation bar. This is great if you want to see how a page looks while being hidden from website visitors. Disable page will remove the page from the website and from being viewable by accessing the URL. This is more utilized if you have a previously created page that you would like to make updates to. The page builder section is where you can add and edit pre-built templates or create new pages from scratch. You can choose your pre-built templates from the left-hand column or click Add New to create a new page. In the upper left-hand column of the page builder, there will be three buttons. This will allow you to see how the page will be viewed on a computer monitor or laptop, tablet, or mobile device. On the right-hand side, there will also be a series of buttons. The eye will hide the upper navigation bar. You can click the eye with a slash icon to bring back the upper nav. The full screen button will do exactly that. Make the page editor full screen, making it easier to work. The two arrows will allow you to either undo or redo changes. Now there are also three buttons that will pertain to custom coding. Now, like I said earlier, you can still build the page without having any previous web knowledge. But if you do have a web developer building your site or coding experience yourself, then you can click the edit button to add code directly to the page, the export button to export any code to work on in your own code editor, and the import button to import any code. Finally, the trash can button will allow you to clear the page. Next are the style manager and the element palette. The element palette is where you can choose each element to drag and drop onto the page builder. These elements are broken into two sections. Basics will hold elements that you will commonly use, like text, headers, or buttons. The extra section will have additional elements you will use in specific situations, like your category grid for your homepage, or drop in custom code or scripts. The paintbrush icon will open the style manager. This will also appear whenever you click an element on the page. This will allow you to change a multitude of aspects, depending on the elements that you're currently using, like photos, lists, text, etc. When you click an element on the page, you'll notice that a blue box will appear around the element, and the group of icons will appear. The trash can will allow you to delete this element. This also can be done just by highlighting the element and then hitting the backspace button. The copy button will allow you to copy it. The move tool will allow you to move the element around the page, and the arrow icon will allow you to choose an entire class of elements. Now, the arrow icon is a tool that might rarely get used, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Building pages is as simple as dragging and dropping elements onto the page itself, using the green and yellow lines as a way of noting where the element is being dropped. 
You can hit save at any time to save the page, and after that page is created, you also can delete it by clicking the delete button.